Let me tell you, this pregnancy was totally different. Now, looking back, my first pregnancy was easy breezy, minus the Braxton Hicks. Oh my gosh. For those mamas out there who've experienced Braxton Hicks, you know what I mean. I would be out and about enjoying my day, and then BAM! You get this lightning shooting pain down your crotch area. I felt that every day, multiple times a day. <laughs> I mean, it was pretty bad. That was the worst part. Aside from that, the pregnancy was pretty smooth. I ate really healthy, I drank a lot of water, but the birth? Oh my gosh, it was the longest labor ever. It took centuries for this boy to come out. 31 hours, it took a very long time. At times, I felt like he didn't wanna come out. He was just chilling, like, I'm not ready. I'll come when I come. <laughs> it was a natural birth, no drug. There, there was definitely a point I felt like Someone give me the drug now. Now. It was it was really that bad. However, I am super happy I did not get any drugs at all. I had a mission was to have a natural birth and I did it. Although yes, it was painful. Very, 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 very painful. But I didn't do it. So when I got pregnant for the second time, of course, I wanted a midwife again. And we went with the same exact midwife. She's amazing. Amazing. I always, the reason why I picked her is because I felt I feel like we have a connection. The second pregnancy, it also went smooth as well. However, I was a lot more tired. My activity level was not the same. I mean, all my pregnancies, I've been very active with all my pregnancies. However, there's different levels of activities that I noticed. My first pregnancy, I was just ready to go. Like the Energizer Bunny, just ready to go. My second pregnancy, this it was the same, but I felt more like, okay, I need a nap. I need to relax. I need to lay down. Like I was more chilled with the second pregnancy. And the beautiful thing about it was no Braxton Hicks. Oh my gosh. I was super happy about that. I did get cankles. I love cankles. Is that weird? If you are a mama who actually don't mind having cankles or enjoy having cankles, comment down below. I know it's a weird thing. I know, I know. But I was actually, I don't know. It's a thing that I have with cankles. I don't know. <laughs> now my third pregnancy was completely different from my first and second pregnancy. I gained the most weight with this pregnancy. I mean, almost 40 pounds, guys. I wasn't the healthiest at all. All I wanted was junk food, junk food, and more junk food. I wanted fries, burgers, smoothies, ice cream, cookies, donuts. All of that spoke to me, like, eat me, eat me. Like, it spoke to me, and that's all I was craving. I did not eat the healthiest. I did eat healthy. But there were a lot of times when I just wanted, I just wanted junk. I felt the most tired. I found myself resting a lot, taking more naps, just hanging out on the bed, taking the longest to get out of bed. I mean, everybody would be up and ready for the day and I'm still in bed, just, just not ready to get up. Like, just give me another 20 hours. <laughs> Like, I felt like I just wanted to live in the bed. Like, I just wanted to live in the bed. Also, the movements, oh my gosh. I felt like I had a ninja living inside of my stomach. Every time the baby moved, I felt everything. 
So now I'm going to show you guys a glimpse of me giving birth. This part is going to be a bit graphic. So if you are a little queasy, you might want to fast forward to where I talk more about my birth experience. And I have a surprise for you guys. Warning. I knew I wanted kids and when that time comes it would be natural I am so terrified of giving birth in a hospital and I know some women would be like what why would you be terrified at that and since I'm terrified of c-sections I just didn't want to go that route and I've always wanted my child natural so finding a midwife or finding a birth center was for me my best option. I personally feel like us women, we can have children without a C-section and without getting an epidural. Yes, it's painful. Trust me, it's painful. I know that, but I also feel like our body was built for that, you know? And as far as a C-section, I am not against it. It would just have to be in an emergency setting. Like it would have to be like emergency. You need to have this child out now. That would be the only way that I would have a C-section. If not, then I would push. I personally know someone that had a horrible birth experience. And with our first child, we went through so many classes. And in those classes, you would hear the same thing like people mothers should i say mothers who would had um a c-section or birth at a hospital setting um decide to want to do it with a birth center you know slash midwife because of their experience and i personally don't need to go through something for me to learn from somebody else i personally feel that so and it was a very easy decision to make because again like i said that's something i've always wanted anyways so hearing all the stories did not really help my decision <laughs> so early in the morning i woke up feeling so good no pain no nothing i was just feeling good feeling great <laughs> so i was getting breakfast ready in the middle of that i just started feeling this unrecognized pain like uh oh this is new. I, I haven't felt this before. And then it went away. So I continued chopping some bell peppers and then I felt it again like, oh, okay. Oh, this don't feel good. I need to go lay down. But I wanted to push through and I wanted to make sure that the um, breakfast was ready for the kids and I wanted to do it. So although there was people there to do it, but I wanted to do it. So I'm over here just struggling through it and then my mom was looking at me like girl stop and my boyfriend was like no that's it go lay down now so he's helping me to the bedroom and halfway there the pressure was times 10 it was times 10 i was like oh my goodness i looked at him and i said the baby's coming i just felt that in my heart the baby's coming because it was just a different feeling so while laying in bed in pain at that point the pain wasn't severe but still painful so i was laying there in in bed and he and my mom was just running around the house like headless chickens getting 
all the last minute things done. In the middle of that, they would check on me and I would tell my mom I'm hungry. She would bring me something and then I was done with that and I was hungry again. So if you hear that, that's the kids. <laughs> They're here while I'm doing all this. I was hungry again and then she kept bringing me more food. I must have had at least five different meals that day. It was a lot and my mom looked at me like, why? I was like, yeah, I'm hungry again. What? Don't tell me you're hungry again. Like, no. <laughs> I was just, I was just hungry. It's a surprise to me because with the first and second child, I did not want food, move the food away from me. I don't want it. Push it back. It just, I just didn't eat. And with this one, I was just hum, 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 hum. I was grubbing. My contractions were really strong and I wanted the baby out. My strength was gone. My midwife, guys, she made everything simple, easy, and the calmness of her voice was so soothing. Why my mom's strength helped me push. She gave me the strength I needed to push because I didn't have any energy left in me. I felt drained, tired, and weak. The whole time I was holding on to my mom and holding on to her is what gave me the energy I needed. So someone decided to make an appearance. So for those of you out there who was team girl, I was team girl too. I already have two boys, so I was definitely team girl. You guys helped me a lot. You guys pushed me through to get another boy. I don't know how that happened, but guys, it's a boy! When the baby was placed on my chest, I immediately felt this feeling of peace. I fell in love with this beautiful soul. Everything about this child was perfect from the head to the toes, from the fingernails, from just everything was just perfect and I just fell in love. And now it was time to deliver the placenta. It felt like I was giving birth all over again. It's like, wait, is there another one in there? Because it's just as painful. I had to off to all the mamas out there because we are strong it was so nice to give birth at home what a difference it made to be in a familiar place and to be surrounded by family and i knew in case of any emergency the hospital is nearby so i felt very comfortable so look who decided to join us now what everybody has been waiting for oops Guys, it's a teddy bear. I am not ready to show the baby yet. In due time, I will. On a serious note, for everyone who send out blessings and warm wishes, I thank you guys so much. We're all safe and doing well. You bring me so much joy and thank you for all your beautiful comments. I absolutely love creating content and sharing it with you all. I thank you so much again and I will see you in the next video. Bye. So I have my pee and my um, baking soda out. And so if it fizzles, it's a boy. If it has no fizz whatsoever, it's a girl. We are going to pour the pee into the baking soda. Oh snap, it's fizzing. Oh my gosh, it fizzed. Oh my gosh, it fits! Does it mean it's a boy? Hey! Hey guys! <laughs> hey guys! Hey guys, I... Oh, make sure. For my second... Oh my god, can we just say he? <laughs> oh my god, can we just say he? Okay. We don't want to say he right now. <laughs> don't say he.